Natalia Veselnitskaya is a Russian attorney. And if you recognize the name, that's because in 2016 she became famous for meeting briefly with Donald Trump Jr. You remember this was the smoking gun of Russian collusion that you heard about endlessly for months and months on cable news. Well, that one meeting was going to bring down the administration. If you were conducting an investigation into Russian influence in the 2016 election, Veselnitskaya, of course, would be one of the very first people you would talk to, obviously. So how is this for weird? In a recent interview with the Associated Press, Veselnitskaya, the same one, says that she was never even contacted by special counsel Robert Mueller. She's done no interviews with any federal investigators. That's what she says. Huh? How can that be? Well, if it's true, it's shocking. But it's only shocking if you still think this investigation is actually about Russian collusion. If it is, then ignoring Vessel in the Sky does not make sense. But of course, this investigation isn't really about collusion or Russia, and it never was. It was an attempt to undo election results from day one. We didn't want to think that, didn't want to come to that conclusion, but now it is too obvious to ignore. Joel Payne is former director of African American Advertising at Hillary for America, and he joins us tonight. Joel, thanks for coming on. Good to be with you. So, look, I, there's a lot we don't know. So I'm taking Veselnitskaya, whom I've never met and know nothing about, at her word that she wasn't contacted uh, by investigators. If that's true, stipulating, if it's true, there's no other explanation other than Mueller isn't <laughs> really, after more than a year and a half, looking into Russian collusion, because how could you skip her? Well, if we're going to take this lawyer at her word, we've got to take Bob Mueller at his word and at, and at what he's done, that he has been very responsible with this investigation, and that there's probably a reason why she hasn't been contacted yet. I mean, the investigation's not done. I imagine that if she has something that's material to the case, that they determine is material to the case, that they'll talk to her. Material to the case? I mean, she is the case, at least as it's been understood publicly. And there have been a ton of leaks from the Mueller investigation, so we know a lot. Mm -hmm. She met with the president's do we, do we son. like leaks today? Because we don't usually like leaks. Usually we like it. Well, I'm a journalist, so I actually it. like leaks. Okay. I want right, to know more to always. Okay. But they discredit investigations okay. because investigations, law enforcement is not supposed to leak. Yeah. But I always want to know. I mean, my position has sure. never changed on that. But here's the point. Ignoring her isn't possible if what you're trying to discover is whether or not the Russians played a role in the outcome of the 2016 election. So I think we know for certain this investigation, whatever else it is, isn't really about that. We were lied to. It's about something else. So shouldn't we be, shouldn't we just pause and say, wait a second, what is this? Tucker, I got to disagree with you. Look, Mueller has even, even the parts of this case that don't have anything to do with collusion, he's referred to the appropriate jurisdictions, the Southern Court in New York, you know that. Bob Mueller is a man of high regard. He is he has been uh, lauded by Democrats and Republicans alike for that. managing this. You don't, I don't care about it, but it but it shows that it shows but it shows that he has managed this case the way that he should manage it. And let's but, not but, but lose on. sight. You're making let's it not personal. Lose, let's I'm not, not attacking Mueller. No, no. Just to be clear, yeah. I'm not attacking Mueller. I have never once attacked him. I never will attack him unless there's cause to do it. Okay. I'm just concerned that the rest of us were sold on the idea that we needed to investigate whether Russia hacked our election, hacked our democracy. The other channels went wall to wall for over a year on that, telling our country we have, we went to war with Russia as a result. We killed hundreds of Russians in Syria as a result. Now it's starting to look like that's not even in play. It's not even relevant. It was never about that. Why shouldn't I feel lied to? Well, you shouldn't feel lied to because three members of the president's team, three very significant members of the president's campaign team, have already acknowledged that they had a role in wrongdoing. They've already either For pleaded guilty. With Russia? They, we don't. We don't know that. Did we don't know plead? exactly. We don't but, know no, no, exactly. Yes, we what do it is because, because I've read. I've know, read the indictments. We don't know what the oh, full no. scope of the investigation. Okay, but I've read is, the indictments yeah. of those three members. Papadopoulos, None of whom were really Manafort, members, whatever. What, Papadopoulos. Paul Manafort, Tucker, I've worked on the presidential campaign. campaign. He ran the if campaign. He ran the campaign. I'm that's aware. a significant but role. But Papadopoulos yeah. didn't, you know, whatever. But here's the point. None of them pled to anything having to do with Russian inclusion. Here's my question to you. If at the end of all of this, assuming it ever does end. Sure. We discover that nobody is charged for colluding with Russia. And there's no actual evidence that Russia colluded. Won't you have cause to feel lied to? No, I personally don't. And I know part of what you wanted to talk about here was the DNC lawsuit. Yeah. And I'll bring that up in this regard. The DNC is trying to push the discussion, the public dialogue, about making sure that we never have a situation like this happen again. We had a foreign government try to compromise the results of our election. Well, we that's, can never allow that that's, to happen. That's and anybody, regardless of who you, you voted for, should care about that. Really? So they care about it. So then, then why does the DNC push electronic voting? 
The only way to secure your voting against foreign interference in a foolproof way is with paper ballots. And yet the DNC consistently pushes against that. They don't care at all about foreign interference. This has nothing to do with that. If they really cared, they would be for paper ballots, but they're not. Why aren't they? Tucker, I disagree with Wait, that. Wait, well, how do you disagree? Pushing that's for like electronic a... voting yes, is not the issue here. In every state. That's not, that's not Early the issue. Voting. Yes. You're, you're, what you're, mean it's you're not conflating issue? apples and oranges no, I'm not. here. You're saying I should be concerned about foreign governments I'm hacking saying... our elections. I'm saying the number one way they do that is electronically. Why don't we have paper ballots? Any security person who's ever looked at this comes to the conclusion paper ballots are the way you protect yourself. I'm saying the if DNC's I get mugged on my walk home, I'm not blaming the fact that there's a light out two blocks away. If... I'm blaming the fact that somebody mugged me. And I want to figure out why they did it, and I want to get to the bottom of it. But maybe you should stop, to continue your metaphor, mm -hmm. stop taping $100 bills to your forehead because it increases the risk. That's my point. If you really are afraid we'll of foreigners hacking our election, no, any security expert. Okay, let me ask you this. Last okay. question. Okay. The DNC is taking a position that it ought to be illegal to publish accurate information if that information has been taken from an email account. That would have prevented... The Pentagon Papers, not that they were taken from an email account, but it was private information published publicly, but it was accurate. Why would the DNC be attacking freedom of the press in this way? There's no other way to read that. Again, Tucker, you know good and well the DNC is not attacking freedom of the press. The DNC really? is trying to do what the president has decided not to do, which is get to the bottom of well, why so our DNC election is was not compromised. Taking the position that's that what it, it is. You, any oh, so any, I'm, I'm any other take it. on it is deflection. Really? Because the DNC and, and, and is that's saying... ignoring the issue. Oh, hold on. The DNC is saying it ought to be illegal to publish these emails. I think that's what they're saying. The that's DNC what they said they're saying. The is saying that in the absence of presidential leadership, we are going to push the issue Should it through be another illegal? way. Should it be illegal? And, they, and by the way, they've done this before. They did it against Nixon. They've, 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 sued, Nixon. they've sued to learn information about okay, what happened in presidential campaigns before. Should it have been before. illegal, as the DNC suggests, for news organizations that's to publish That's not what the, the DNC is suggesting. The, oh. uh, we just disagree on, on what we read. Oh, I'm from, just taking them at face value. This. I get Maybe metaphorically they're not suggesting that, but literally I think they're saying that. I, Tucker, you know good and well that DNC <laughs> does not disagree with freedom of the press. You should go oh, take a look okay. at. They're you should go calling, take a look at who who's sitting in 1600 They're just calling for criminalizing it. Okay, I guess I, I was easily misled. <laughs> Joel, thank you. Always good to see you.